Hi everyone and welcome to Mac Tips. Today I'm going to do the unboxing of my new Apple Watch Series 2. Now this one uh, comes in this beautiful white box. It has the little Apple logo and uh, the word watch on the front of it. And on the side you can see that this is the larger size 42 millimeter watch. I bought the one with the gold and brown strap. It's a rubber strap. So uh, we're going to unbox this right now. Let's open up and take a look at what's inside. And I'm doing this for the first time with you guys. I've never opened up an Apple Watch before. There seems to be this little extra piece over here. And let's take a look and see what's in there. And uh, there seems to be uh, something heavy in here. So I think uh, there might be an extra strap in here. It shows the basic operating instructions on this one. And if you open up a little further, it shows how to use the strap and the basic use, the how-to uh, for each of the screens of the Apple Watch. It's also showing how you could pair the Apple Watch with your phone. And actually, when you start up the watch, uh, it asks you to pair it immediately. It's quite simple if you just follow the instructions. Uh, it also does have, uh, it seems to be an extra strap here. I guess in case it goes bad, they give you a secondary one. And then it also has uh, just a little paper giving you the limited warranty. And now let's take a look at the watch. Uh, there it is. It's quite beautiful when you open it up. It's really, really nice. And uh, let's put that watch down over here for a minute and open up the box. There seems to be another tab here. And underneath it is the charging cable and uh, obviously the power. So it comes with the charging cable and the power. That little round thing on the front uh, connects magnetically to the Apple Watch, and that's how you charge it. Well, there it is. It's the gold around the edges, and uh, I think uh, you can pull off some plastic. I think there's, yep, there's some plastic around it over here. I'm going to pull that off. And as you can see, it's a really a brand new watch. I just got it. There seems to be another plastic tab over here. Let's take that off. I love that feeling of uh, opening it up for the first time. And that, you don't press that for on. There's the on button. Okay. And you can see on the back, that's what the charger cable it is. It's a little thicker uh, than the other ones. Supposedly, this is the most advanced Apple Watch yet. It has uh, built-in GPS tracking and GLONOS navigation system. It's water-resistant, up to 50 mil meters. It has an S2 chip with dual-core processor. It's two times brighter display than before, and it's running Watch OS number 3. It's a little heavier, and it has a ceramic back. Uh, it has a better speaker than Series 1. And there's a way to clear water from the speaker that's automatic. I also picked up uh, some of these uh, watch bands that were uh, available on Amazon just to see if they'd work. This is a black leather one. It comes with its own little tool, which is kind of cool. And uh, you can just swap them out for the original Apple. So you don't necessarily have to buy um, other kinds of bands. Uh, here's another one that I picked up, which uh, is more of a, a herringbone one. And just a minute, I'll show it to you. There it is. And these were only about $30. So you can pick up some changes of watch bands, uh, which are pretty cool, uh, just from Amazon, you know, for the Apple Series 2. Um, also, I bought this rubber cover for the face because I don't want it to get scratched. And that's the one that I picked up. So uh, you can, again, pick that up on Amazon. Uh, basically, uh, there's uh, six gigs of storage. It has Bluetooth 4.0 and Wi-Fi, and you can pair your watch with your iPhone, and you could switch the watch faces, you know, to see the Mickey Mouse. It auto-locks when you take it off, and it has notifications and many applications, the best being the Series app for Maps, which you can talk right into uh, the watch uh, to be able to do stuff with it. And uh, you could see uh, it also has the accelerometer, accelerometer, I don't know how to pronounce that right, and the gyroscope. Uh, so both of them are kind of measuring how fast you're working and how, uh, how fast uh, you're moving. And there's also an amb ambient light sensor, so it kind of adjusts the lighting on the uh, sensor on the screen uh, to what the lighting is around you. It has a built-in rechargeable uh, lithium battery that goes for 18 hours and 60% use at the end of the day. It'll go five hours on GPS tracking. And... Uh, you can get different bands from Apple as well, and you can also uh, get additional charging. This is how you charge it. You just kind of 
put it on the back, and as you can see, it just sticks to it like a magnet, and you can charge it by USB. So real easy. And like I said, the ceramic back supposedly works better now. Uh, here you would select, uh, this is how you shut it off. You just kind of hold down the button and you swap it and uh, wait for it to shut down. And as you can see, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for listening.